All right, in this video, we're going to work on conversions. Our first one says to convert 563 centimeters to meters. So we're always going to start by putting the given right here. So 563 centimeters. All right, and we're trying to convert that to meters. So I'm gonna go over to my reference sheet and I'm going to look at, okay, this is a distance and I see that one meter is equal to 100 centimeters. All right, so before I do that, I know that I want whatever was on the top right here, so centimeters, to cancel right here. So that means that centimeters is going to go right here, and meters is going to go here, and then the one went with the meters, the 100 went with the centimeters. Note that the directions say they only use values greater than one right here, um, so use those ones that are in the reference sheet. All right, if I uh, multiply across the top, so I'm gonna put in 563 times one divided by 100, or just 563 divided by 100 gives me 5.63. For the units, the units canceled out, the centimeters canceled out, and I was just left with meters. So I am put in my answer here as meters. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at another one. So my next one says convert 795 seconds to minutes. So starting with the given, 795 seconds. And looking at our conversion factor, or we probably know it already, is that there are one minute equals 60 seconds. All right, whatever was on the top before needs to cancel out later. So seconds was on the top, it needs to go on the bottom seconds right there and that leaves minutes on the top that is perfect because seconds will cancel out and i'll be left with my answer in minutes sometimes i just like to check those units first all right so we know that one minute equals 60 seconds as I said in my reference sheet and then my answer is going to be 795 times one divided by 60. so if i plug that in real quick it's just 795 divided by 60, and I get 13.25. For the minutes, make sure you keep at least three significant figures. All right, if we go ahead, we see that later, some of these problems don't have the same supports that the previous problems had. So here, it just wants me to write out, I call, the, I call these things the, the railroad tracks. So. We're going to start with 140 pounds. And then we see my conversion factor it says that one pound equals 4.45 newtons. So I had pounds on the top, I want pounds to cancel out. So I need newtons on the top, pounds on the bottom. So 4.45, uh, sorry, 4.45 went with the newtons, was equal to one pound. So this time I'm putting in my calculator 140 times 4.45 and I get 623. As I expected, the pounds would cancel out and we're left with our answer in newtons, which is exactly what we wanted. So 623 newtons.